All right, hello and welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, please uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any exciting EV news, reviews, and drives. Uh, I am standing here in the meatpacking district of New York, uh, right in front of Tesla. I just checked out the Tesla Cybertruck. Uh, you can find that in another video that probably will have gone before this one. But uh, I'm now about to just do a little bit of a tour of all of the exciting uh, EV showrooms that are around here. So Genesis House is just uh, right next door. So I'm gonna go check that out first, but then we'll head to Rivian. Lucid and Fisker's got a pop-up here too. So I'll see if there's uh, anything interesting around each of these and bring all of those to you. So uh, come along with me. Let's ride. Oh man, so it is a cold and windy day here in New York, but it's quite interesting here that the uh, meatpacking district sort of you know, down here around 14th Street under the High Line uh, is becoming like EV Central now. So we've got Tesla, Rivian, Lucid, uh, Genesis, uh, all right around here. Fisker's got a pop-up uh, right up the street. Uh, and then uh, Polestar's got like their flagship showroom or at least their New York showroom uh, just a bit up the road here. Um, so just really cool to see and like uh, kind of an interesting way to you know go right around and compare a couple of different vehicles. So uh, I'm excited to do that and uh, bring it all to you. All right, so here is Genesis House and uh, I've never actually been to um, this before. Uh, I've seen their uh, little uh, I guess showroom in uh, Hudson Yards here, but Genesis House is kind of a cool and unique uh, experience here in New York. It's actually not only a showroom, but also a uh, like highly rated restaurant uh, where you can get all kinds of, uh, it's mostly Korean food, um, but I think it might be like kind of Pan-Asian. Um, so I don't know, uh, okay, yeah, here we go. Korean tea service. So uh, yeah, let's go inside, check it out. Um, Genesis is an interesting brand in the world of EVs, obviously part of the Hyundai Motor Group uh, so they're built on the eGMP platform, same as the Ionic uh, from, line from uh, Hyundai and uh, the um, EV6 and then soon to be EV9 uh, from Kia. Uh, so great charging and you know, obviously Genesis is like the up brand, more, luxuri more luxurious one. So uh, let's see what they've got. All right, so they're not open yet. Uh, they'll be open in another 20 minutes. So let's go check out, uh, oh, I can see Rivian right across the street here. Let's go do that first. All right, so here you've got the... Uh, uh, some of the electric models from Genesis is the GV60 uh, charging here on a charge point unit. Uh, and then, uh, well, we'll come back and we'll check these out in a sec. It's easier to see them through the windows. But yeah, so there's Genesis, and then right here is Rivian. Tesla was around the corner as well. Uh, and we can, uh, I've already brought you a tour of the Rivian showroom here. Uh, make sure to check that out. But, uh, oh, super windy, so you probably can't hear me, but we're going to go uh, just see if anything's changed in there. All right, so every time I'm here, I go check out the R1S. Uh, I realized, even though we're picking up in two days from now, yay, uh, I was kind of curious, like, uh, how we're going to get this set up with the kids and everything. So, um, actually, I kind of forgot that this was, like, a powered thing. So you just push that, and that flops, uh, I'm trying to say that flops down. But uh, we've got, like, this option, too, to get the kids into the back row, uh, kind of crawl through this part. But I actually think, like, the way that these seats fold and everything, they'll be uh, fine to do it themselves. You know, they can just climb into the back here to buckle themselves in. Um, so I forgot just like how spacious this is. Fantastic. So happy about this. Can't wait to get ours. But um, yeah, this is just, I love how they like let you crawl around and check everything out in here. Um, just a really awesome way to experience the brand, learn more about it and get excited and get your order in. So uh, yeah, we've got one, said, basically our exact configuration right out there, the Forest uh, Green. Only thing different is that's on the 22 Sport tires and ours is the 21 road tires. Um, I do like those Sport ones better than what we've got, but I didn't want to wait for them. Um, so. Maybe we'll swap them out later. Uh, but yeah, and we've got like demo drives going here and everything. So highly recommend coming to check this out here uh, if you're interested in getting your own Rivian. Uh, but we won't spend too much time just because we're going to have a lot more content coming on ours uh, quite soon. Um, so stay tuned for that as well. Uh, and here's how the seat goes. Push that. Boop. And got lots of room to get in that way. And here's the uh, back trunk. So uh, tailgate's up. You can see you've got a decent amount of room back here even with the seats up, um, but you put them down and you just got huge space. So it's cool to see this again. Uh, I've got like the rails here for you know, accessories and like these clips and stuff. Um, is your power outlet. Some of this stuff I just kind of forgot because it's been so long since uh, we last checked one out. Um, so it's cool to be able to see this again a couple of days before we get ours. And then uh, that up and uh, yeah, and then here's the Passenger side. I realize this is kind of a key to getting the kids in and out. This side, since it's just the, uh, the one seat, is 
is a lot lighter and uh, easier to do one-handed. Okay, let's flop that back up. Perfect. Sweet. All right. Well, that's got me excited. I can't wait to uh, get ours in a couple days. And I do just love this space here. Uh, we've been to the Asheville one also in you know much smaller space. Uh, you can find that video as well. Um, but uh, and we've done a tour here before. But it looks like they just added a couple more things. You know, gear guard here for the kids, and um, uh, I got some like different merch and stuff. I should probably check it out because we need to figure out what we're going to order. Uh, but yeah, just awesome space. Got a bunch of uh, different vehicles on display, and um, you can come do your test drive and stuff here too. So come check it out. All right, so there's Rivian, uh, really awesome. They had, uh, I guess, check out the one that was in the front too and just talk to them a little bit. Uh, a little quiet day for them today, but they said they've just been doing a ton of uh, demo drives and have a lot of people you know, generally coming in to check it out. And it's true, the wait time's coming down now. Um, more and more people, you know, interested in uh, putting their reservation in. So uh, they're doing a, a good business here and getting a lot of people excited for the brand. So awesome to see. And I think, you know, the, of all the EV locations down here, uh, I think Rivian's got like the coolest kind of showroom. Um, it just like, you know, really fits with the brand and everything. Tesla's is kind of sterile. This is, you know, fun, adventurous. It shows you like all the na uh, national parks and places that you can go. Uh, and I just feel like it's a more welcoming, uh, inviting space. So uh, awesome. So let's keep going and we'll go, uh, just check out maybe uh, either Lucid or Fisker next, depending on what is up here. All right, so now we are here at Fisker, which to be honest, I don't know a whole lot about. I mean, I've kind of followed them uh, just a tiny bit uh, as they've gone through some uh, ups and a lot of downs. Uh, but it seems like they're kind of, you know, back on and up now. It seems like they're a little bit more stable and uh, they have, um, you know, the, the ocean uh, basically seems pretty close ready to shipping. Uh, we've got one on display here. We're going to check it out and let's see what we can make of uh, Fisker. All right, so this is the Fisker Ocean, and I'm not going to lie, it is really awesome. I'm super impressed. Uh, just really cool looking, some awesome tech and uh, features on here. And uh, I didn't know that much about Fisker before, but um, uh, they're actually like shipping these, and um, they're starting to do test drives uh, here soon as well. We're kind of here in a pop-up um, that's been here just for about a month or so, um, but they said that they would start uh, be doing demo drives here soon, and they got my info on that, so hopefully I'll get a chance to do that. So yeah, this is their first model out there. It is a, um, a SUV, obviously. Um, and uh, both of the ones that they've got in here are the highest trim. So there's three trims. Uh, the upper one has the solar roof, which they say you can get maybe like three to five miles of additional range uh, per day on, uh, depending on how sunny it is. And uh, that'll have a range of about 260 uh, miles. The middle one has a range of about 240. Uh, both that middle and the top one will be all-wheel drive. And then the Sport, uh, which is the uh, lowest of the three trims, will be front-wheel drive and have a range of uh, somewhere like around 230. Um, so both of these are that uh, top range. And we um, have got this one kind of in the uh, silver metallic here. And the wheels. Um, so inside here, Got like this little kind of desk that pops up there for uh, working looks like. This screen completely rotates 90 degrees so that you can have it in landscape mode to watch uh, entertainment. Um, it's got kind of you know this squared off bottom part of the wheel there around at the top, uh, which I quite like. Uh, you got you know driver display up there. Uh, what else? Uh, heated seats all around, uh, including in the back. Nice uh, ambient lighting inside here as well. Materials look really you know nice, feel great. It's got like a kind of suede one here. Um, they have what's called California mode, uh, which takes all of the uh, windows down. Uh, on that one, you have the sunroof, um, which uh, which can open up. Um, and then, like even these little, I'll show it, but uh, even these little back ones here, the the dog uh, windows, you call them, um, go down as well. Um, so yeah, nice white interior here, and um, a lot of trunk space back here. Uh, really, really good for like a not too huge SUV, you know, two row SUV. Um, and looks like, you know, some yeah, decent amount of storage under here too. And, uh, this is the window sticker. So 76,632 on here. They don't like talking prices in here because they're not allowed to uh, do sales, uh, in New York state, but, uh, um, uh, that's not bad. Yeah. A lot of room here, powered trunk. That's great. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, different wheel uh, covers on here. So you've got that style and then these kind of tri-blade ones, which look uh, really cool. And oh, look at the blue brake calipers. Sweet. <laughs> I love this um, 
this color too, this like matte blue looks phenomenal. And yeah, there's, okay, so there's the screen in horizontal mode, um, all your controls down there. Uh, so nice combination kind of, you know, stuff on the screen, but physical buttons, I uh, like to see more and more manufacturers doing that. And um, yeah, really nice here in the back, like these seats are pretty wide and um, you have the center part here uh, where you have controls for the climate and um, entertainment and everything. Uh, so again, heated seats back here, just no cooling available, but uh, at least heated back here. Um, so that is nice. Uh, they have, uh, she called it limousine mode. And then um, you got like your power and stuff here. A lot of leg room, it looks like. Uh, seats are kind of far up though. So hard to tell exactly. But yeah, and then you've got this roof that opens, which I think is a uh, really cool solar roof. Yeah, that's just awesome. And then, um, should we like poke in here, but yeah. So I don't know if they've announced, they might be one of the few brands to not have announced anything with uh, NACS yet, but um, we'll see how that progresses. So CCS yes for now. And um, yeah, I think that just looks really awesome. So manufactured in Austria, they said. Uh, I believe this is at the Magnus Dyer plant, which uh, is really um, known as being a high quality production facility. And uh, they're based out of California, so lots of nods to that uh, in the naming and stuff as well. So that looks really cool. I think these look uh, so quite compelling. So uh, unfortunately, can't really drive it around today, but um, I'm on the list and I'll get a chance to check this out in a little bit more detail uh, at a future date. Uh, yeah. There we go, that's uh, Fisker. Really cool to see him, glad I stumbled upon this spot. All right, and last but not least, uh, or maybe not last, check out Travis's still too. But uh, next up, we've got Lucid here. Uh, we've got two uh, models out here um, for demo drives. And uh, here is the Lucid showroom itself. I just love the little uh, bear here, uh, nod to their Californian uh, heritage. We've got manufacturer plates on these. Um, so uh, yeah, very cool. So these are both uh, obviously the air. We're gonna go see if they have the gravity inside. I heard they don't yet, but it's always worth a check. All right, so I'm here in Lucid and uh, no uh, gravity yet, but uh, we've got a bunch of airs on display and this really cool uh, model, or I mean, actual, I guess, production of the uh, battery platform and the drivetrain and everything. So it's super cool. Awesome space in here. All right, so that was super cool. Um, I uh, honestly like didn't know that much about Lucid, but like this goes to show just how important these showrooms are because I learned a ton just now, uh, thanks to um, Miriam, who uh, was like the most knowledgeable showroom person I've ever talked to. Um, and she just knew everything about Lucid and has been there since like the early days of the uh, Air uh, first launching. Um, so that was uh, really cool and a huge uh, thank you to them for taking the time to explain stuff for me. And um, even, even though they don't have a um, gravity on display yet, um, tell me kind of about that and the differences. And uh, we'll see. Um, sounds like they may be getting one somewhat soon. They just don't know exactly when yet, uh, but we'll definitely check that out when we can. Uh, but yeah, just awesome showroom. Um, cool to see all of the different uh, versions of the Air on display, um, including the ones that they've got uh, for demo drive here. And for sure, I'm going to be doing a demo drive of the Air uh, out of Short Hills because it's not that far from us and I might as well. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was really cool. And uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to see the gravity sooner than later. All right, this is the Genesis house. Definitely the... Uh... It's the swankiest spot of all of the showrooms. Um, massive uh, showroom here. So we've got a couple of EVs, the GV60. And this must be the performance one because it's got the like neon green piping in here. Really cool uh, materials. Got a little, oh yeah, it's got the boost mode thingy too. Um, yeah, uh, to be honest, I don't know like a ton about Genesis as a brand. Never really been like, exactly the right market for it. Um, but their stuff is just really nice and always at a really competitive price too. Um, and they've been making some of the best EVs out there in terms of charging performance uh, for quite a while. So GV60, uh, not an EV, this is the uh, this is the G90. But yeah, you can see all of the different um, material and uh, paint options here. Kind of cool way to show this um, instead of just having like little swatches and stuff, yeah, she's the doors. Yeah, so this is G90. Symbols. Very nice materials on the inside. Everything's just very nice and uh, classy and good um, 
overall vibe uh, from Genesis for sure. So they've got a private event going on upstairs, so we can't check out the restaurant right now. Uh, but we can see the showroom here. Over here we've got the GV70. That's one. GV80. G70. The naming kind of confuses me a little bit. I guess the Vs are like the, the, the Gs are the just kind of cars and the Vs are the SUVs. Not sure exactly, but it seems to, to fit. Uh, yeah, so this one's got nice Brembro brakes, a little bit sporty here, um, and just really nice luxurious materials, just very nice place to be, um, you know, and at a much more competitive price point than like, a, you know, BMW or uh, Mercedes would be. So... Interesting kind of kinetic art here. Yeah, so these are all little uh, dots that kind of flip around. Yeah, that's neat. <laughs> I like the sound it makes. Then here, this is the GV70 Electrified, which is a full EV. Uh, converted kind of version of the gas GV70. So it looks pretty much the same on the inside as the, the GV70, but um, yeah, it's a nice one, you know, a little bit bigger than the GV60 uh, that you see a little bit more of. Um, yeah, this feels about, you know, kind of yeah, a little bit smaller, honestly, than, uh, than the uh, Fisker that we just saw, um, and definitely smaller than the um, Lucid Gravity, but uh, nice you know, kind of I don't know if you call this midsize or compact uh, SUV, but yeah, kind of midsize. Um, and another nice electric option with uh, a lot of comfy options in there. Yeah. Oh, and then here is the electrified G80. So this is the only like uh, convertible or convertible uh, standard kind of car version you can get um, electrified. And yeah, very nice in there too. Lots of space back here for a sedan, so good family option. And nice materials in there too. Looks, you know, very similar to some of the other um, Genesis ones here. And charge point chargers. So unfortunately not much like material for me to read here to learn about it, but uh, looks pretty cool. All right, so that kind of concludes our little uh, tour here of all of the EV showrooms in uh, the meatpacking district. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for uh, hanging out with me today and checking all of these things out. Um, I think pretty cool just to see how many electric options there are now uh, kind of all on display here uh, in New York. Get out of the wind. Yeah, pretty cool just to see kind of how many different electric options are all, all like in one relative uh, same space here in New York. Uh, so uh, great to kind of do some cross shopping, even though all the models are you know pretty different. There's not really a, a lot of overlap between the ones that we just saw here. Um, but this shows like how much you know the uh, EV market is growing. Uh, we're now crossing one million EVs sold uh, this year alone in the U.S., which is a record for the most ever. And um, uh, we're also now above 13% uh, sales in New Jersey, at least. Uh, New York, I think, is uh, just a little bit behind that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, just a lot of growth here and this is why we've got all of these awesome options. Um, you know, these ones are all a bit like on the higher end, but between Tesla and, um, even Fisker wasn't like that crazy expensive. Uh, you know, we're getting more and more affordable options as well. So great to see, you know, more of these, uh, coming out here and I hope we get, uh, even more showrooms, uh, around here soon so that, uh, more people, you know, can get to learn about these cars and get excited for the EV re revolution. All right. Well, with that, thanks so much for watching and see you out there in the room.